Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. This is how to turn your um, regular dreadlocks and how to dye it into some honey blonde dreadlocks at the tips. Then I have you covered. Stay tuned. We'll jump right into this video. So this is the products that I'm using. Some 20 developer, some bleach, and some purple shampoo. Everything will be in the description as well. I start off by putting three scoops of the bleach into my bowl and I'm just showing you right here how much bleach that I am putting into this bowl at this time and then after I do that I get my 20 developer and I'm just showing you that and if you want your hair a little lighter you would use a higher number developer but he wanted more of a honey blind so that's why i'm using a 20 developer and i use two scoops of that but later on in the video i'll be showing you that that was not enough because it wasn't um pasty enough because you want it kind of like the consistency of some cake mix so i added some i mean some cake frosting so i added another cap full of the developer so now you see it's kind of more like cake frosting right here and i'll just be showing you that so yeah three scoops of powder and three scoops of the developer now right here i'm just grabbing some foil this was some pretty long foil i did not realize how long this foil was but i wanted to make sure i had enough space when doing his dyeing process so i'm just getting six sheets out right here and then i'm gonna split those sheets individually into halves and i'm gonna split it down the middle to create 12 um sheets of four because i'm gonna be needing that in the dyeing process as well so i'm just showing you how i done that and then the next thing you want to do is just start sectioning off his hair. I'm just using those rubber bands to get one side out the way because I want to work on one section at a time. So I can section off six on the right side and six on the left side with a total of 12 sections. You can have more or less sections. It depends on how you want to do this i did 12 section i thought that was probably small enough to actually dye his hair pretty well and not too much hair into each foil so i'm just showing you that i'm grabbing that bleach with that developer mix and i'm just applying it to the foil and i do that so it can dye the back of his dreadlocks as well as the top and then you just want to take that rubber band off and I'm just kind of layering his hair kind of flat because I want that bleach to be all up in his head. And you can see as I get closer to the top of his head, I am kind of stroking it kind of um, with light strokes because I want it kind of ombre where it's kind of of a darker brown and then transition it into that honey blonde. So that's why I am just kind of brushing it like that and I'm kind of saturating the tips of his hair even more because I want that a little lighter than I do the top of his hair so it's more of a blending process but if you want all your hair dye you can totally do the whole dread if you like you know and once again I am just using that foil to cover it up but make sure you have a lot of airflow still where the foil is not too tight because if the foil is too tight too tight it will have your hair kind of like frying burning and then it won't even look right and the color won't even come out evenly it'll be more brighter than you expected and yeah so just making sure that you're not folding that foil too tight because that is a problem so I'm just working on another section of his dreadlocks and I'm doing the same process and that's why I'm turning the brush like I did to give it the ombre look of darker brown transitioning into the blonde. So I'll do this a few more times so you can see how I am doing that and you just want to start section by section doing the same 
thing until his whole head is complete. I like working with the back section first because it's easier for me to wash out as I let the top um, process more if need be. So right now I'm just checking in. It's been about 15 minutes and um, his hair is already the desired color that we were going for. So I'm just getting a wet towel and just kind of just getting that product out of his head, that bleach. So it can kind of stop the bleaching process. So I'm just getting as much as I can out. But I will soon be going to wash his hair. So I'm just... After I washed his hair completely out, I used this purple shampoo to kind of tone his dreadlocks down. And after that, this is the finished look. This is how his hair is looking. And like I said in this video, I won't be just dyeing his hair, but he also wanted to strand twist. And we'll be doing that as well. He's going to a gala tonight. So he wanted something new and different. And so we went with two strand twist as his um hairstyle of choice so right now i'm just showing you how to strand twist his hair i am just twisted each dreadlock to the left and then after i twist each dreadlock to the left i will crisscross it over to the right creating a two strand twist on his dreadlocks and i'll do this a few more times so you can see what i am doing and after i complete that two strand twist i always grab a rubber band to secure the end of his hair and I make sure that it's not super, super tight, but secure enough, you know, to hold in place. And right now, of course, I added some shine and jam to the root of his hair. Every time I've been doing his two-strand twist or his retwist lately, I've been using the uh, shine and jam. But everything that I use will be in the description box, so you can check that out if you like. And just a disclaimer, I am not a licensed... Um, hair dyer or anything like that so this is just my opinion of what i use to create his um the color honey blunt on his dreadlocks so this is my opinion only um it's nothing professional so i'm just showing you what i did to create this look so and again if you like in this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel I'll be giving weekly updates on um, another journey that we're doing, which is a lock journey with some two-strand twists uh, on my other son's hair. So if you want to check that out and see how that process is going, please subscribe to the channel. We'll be giving updates pretty regular just so you can see how his journey is going. But yeah, so... I like the color. It looks good. It's very vibrant and he liked it as well. And I'm just showing you once it's the back is done, how it's looking. And yeah, it's looking really good. And this is the finished look once all of his hair is two strand twisted up. So if you like this video, once again, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a great blessed day.